Hello? Hello? Is this the president of basketball? Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess this is Prez. Who, who is this? Okay, thank you. Please hold for Mike Krzyzewski. Excuse me, who, 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 who did you say? Hello? Hello, is, is this Prez? Uh, yeah, yeah, this is Prez. Is this Coach K? Yeah, it is. I, I'm sure you're wondering why I'm calling. Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> It's not that often that you get a call out of the blue from someone like you, so yeah. Well, I, I've got a very good reason for calling, I can assure you. On behalf of USA Basketball, I'd like to officially invite you to be a part of the team. Yeah, that's great. Wow, yes. Amazing. That you were absolutely terrific this season in college, and we think you'd be a great addition to our team. Wow, that is an unbelievable offer. I, 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 I don't know what to say. So th does that mean you accept? 100%. Yeah, I, um, <laughs> I mean, I've always dreamed of, you know, representing my country in, in, in a way like this. So I'm in. That's amazing. We'll get you some additional details shortly. And I'm really looking forward to coaching you at our next mini camp this summer. All right, coach. See you this summer, Prez. All right, see you. Okay, wait. I can't really start this video right here without giving you guys a little bit of background on the guy you're watching on your screen right now. Let's rewind back to the creation, the start of it all. This of course is my 6 foot 10 lockdown defender, power forward, Vladimir Johnson. Sometimes referred to as the Black Russian, but they just call him TBR. You guys should know Vlad. Vlad is a beast. He been getting it in. He's my PlayStation 4 character. I've been putting in work with this dude for a minute now. And things are a little bit different this year. You know, some different archetypes. You know, play styles are a little bit different. So I felt like the, the play style that best explained what I tried to do when I created Vlad was Lockdown Defender. He'll still be able to score a little bit, but he's not the guy that's going to come out here and just lead everybody in scoring. Okay, now I'm going to let you guys watch some of Vlad's highlights from the regular season. And you guys are going to see why Coach K didn't choose any other players from his own university but this kid right here to join Team USA in the Olympics. i catch you guys in the game. Right, let's get into it. What is going on, folks? You are watching a video on the channel of K-Spade, the prospect. I am the guy sometimes referred to as the leader of the Wolfpack, and you guys are about to watch a young budding star come out here and hold his own with the best players on the planet. Now, the first question you guys are probably asking is, wait a minute, this kid is Russian. Why is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this thing called dual citizenship. Vladimir has dual citizenship, of course. And uh, who would you play for? Russia uh, Team USA. I'm just saying. So anyway, man, this game right here is crazy. Throughout this run, Team USA been kicking ass and taking names like you would expect them to do. And unfortunately, Vlad really didn't get a lot of chance to play. But here in the championship game against Brazil, Coach K himself told Vlad, Team USA gets a big enough lead. Let's go put the kid in and let the kid have some fun. Here we go. Vlad's first touch. He watches, he finds a cutting teammate, hits Kyrie. Kyrie is able to get the shot to go. When you in this game, man, it's so tough. Like you want to play because you want to prove to these dudes that you nice too. But you don't want to mess up, but you want to earn their respect. You kind of all over the place. And you trying to balance this thing and just not do too much. So far, so good, man. Vlad out here with two boards two dimes that long pass right there to DeMarcus Cousins was scary as hell I was like what is Vlad doing 
why was he just not passing to a point guard? But it worked out great. Turns out the big fella got some really good court vision, and right there it paid off. Team USA with a steal to pass up to Flat, who throws it down over one of those Brazilian defenders. You better get out the way, that bad boy. The big strong dude barreling down the paint. You don't want to be on the wrong end of a chestnut scenario. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be that. Lad, however, defensively, man, he got to understand this ain't college no more, man. These bigs got range. They ain't always trying to get in the paint to pull their jump shots. He give up an easy look right there. About a minute to go in the first. Look at Vlad. Could have easily pulled that mini, but once again, that court vision was on display. An extra pass over the boogie. Boogie bangs down the baseline, jump shots, a whole lot of bees right there. And then he was just kind of mean mugging them Australians like, yeah, what up, though? What y'all going to do about that? What up, though? Kyrie Irving gives up a great look at a wide open shot. Brazil can't make it do anything for him. Team USA running the break on the other end, and that's Big Vladimir going up two hands. Well, look like Shaq, right? I'm telling y'all, I never really tried to do this, but when I was creating this guy and playing through the regular season with him, he reminds me a little bit of C. Webb. I'm talking about the young C. Webb. Like, he's kind of got a little decent mid range game, decent, but he's a force, man. Got some great. Uh, you know, court vision, great passing ability. He'll beat in the paint. Anybody who's old enough to have seen young C. Webb know what I'm talking about. Probably not many of y'all. But anyway, get back to the game, man. Look at Vlad in the paint. The fadeaway. Irish Spring Green. Hashtag soap ball on that fadeaway. Vlad came to Georgetown without a post game. But you know them Thompsons. Vlad, what you doing? Vlad. Now, see, here's one of the moments right here where the young fella is going to get teased. Vlad with a JaVale McGee moment. Make it two JaVale McGee moments. For one, he thought Team USA had the ball. The kid took off running down the court. Gets called back to play defense. Like, where the hell you going? He get back as Team USA actually gets possession. And then he went and shot a three. Vlad know damn well he can't shoot no three. But anyway, man, you saw the score at the end of the first half. Team USA is in control of the situation. It's not even a game. So you got to wonder, you know, how much actual PT the kid is going to get. Because, I mean, Coach K said if Team USA doing work, this is the last game. He's going to let the kid rock, and he's having a pretty good game so far. You know, if I don't say so myself. Paul George leads all scorers at the half with 12. We go ahead and jump into the third quarter. Check us out right here, though. What? I'm going to say Kyle Lowry is feeling himself. He misses the shot, but look at flat on the glass. Offensive board, strong take back. I like that, man. It looked like an and one, too. I don't know, you know, what the whistle situation is over here with FIBA rules, but it looked like a foul to me. In the NBA, that's a foul. 63 to 37 is the score. This game is getting out of hand. Dirt. Vlad with a big time block right there, knocking it out of bounds, turning around, kind of stretching like, you know, light work. I get blocks every single day. DeMar DeRozan stepping around the screen, pulling the midi, cashing that guy out. Is it 77 to 43, though? Man, come on. Brazil with another open look. They can't capitalize on the situations. They're getting some good looks. Just ain't doing nothing with it. Vlad having some fun right here. Going back to the basket. What you got, Vlad? The hook shot? The hook shot rattles in too. Vlad giving them everything. Post fadeaways, post hooks, middies, dunks, blocks. You name it, man. The kid is really putting on the clinic out here. Vlad gets it again. Kicks it over to DeRozan. DeRozan back to Vlad. End of the game, Vlad. That's bad sportsmanship, bro. Team USA is up a 1,000 points. Why would you do that? He's a young kid, man. You got to forgive him. He's just a young college student just out here having fun. He don't know nothing about no, you know, code of ethics. Not yet. Anyway, folks, that is all I got for this video. I wanted to do something different. I wasn't going to show you the whole college career, and I'm showing you Isaiah's whole college career. So the next video you get from this series will be the draft, and you guys get a chance to see where Vladimir lands. That's all I got for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm out the next time, y'all. Peace.